Okay, so today we are checking out Supermodel. So the last time I covered this on my channel was around a year ago, and since a lot of people have been complaining, saying they can't actually download particular parts or particular files. So I've gone out my way, and I've got you the very, very easiest way to download this, where you don't need to look for files which is going to be hidden deep within the internet i'm going to be showing you how to do video settings in this setup guide too as well as looking control mappings and everything else which comes with it so check this one out Okay, before I start today, Supermodel Sega Model 3 Emulator Setup Guide made it extremely, extremely easy. If you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe, and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. That just means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide like this one today, and it also helps my channel out. Okay, so on to Supermodel in emulating Sega Model 3 games. So, yes, this is an absolute pain. But there's a very, very easy way around this. So rather than searching the internet for a GUI to go with Supermodel, because as we know, Supermodel is pretty much a command line situation. And finding a GUI for this nowadays is virtually impossible. I'm going to show you how to cheat around this and get you the latest and greatest setup. So first of all, we're going to go to download Retrobat. Now, Retrobat is a front end, but we're just going to download this to literally download something inside it. I also cover Retrobat on my channel and I've got a lot of videos on there. So if you're interested in that, do check them out. But on with this, what we're going to do is download Retrobat and we're going to download now. Okie doke, so this is going to take us over to itch.io. What we're going to do next is go to downloads now. No thanks, just take me to the downloads. And I'm going to download version 6 stable Win64, which I actually covered on my channel a little while back. So I'm going to download this. Okay, so we've now got Retrobat. Let's set this up. So just double left click on the setup. Okay, so select language, so this is English, obviously, in my case, okay. And I'm going to press next, and I accept the agreement, press next, and again, press next. Now, I personally suggest leaving this installation to go to your C drive, where it's going to create a new folder in there called Retrobat. If you want this to install elsewhere, just go to Browse and find another location for it to install to. But however, like I say, we're not actually going to keep Retrobat, but we're going to use it just to get some goodness out of it. So what I'm going to do is just leave this to install into my C drive. I'm going to press Next. And I'm also going to create a shortcut, a desktop shortcut for this. Next and Install. What we're going to do, we're just going to wait patiently for Retrobat to extract all those wonderful files. Okay, cool. So we've now finished install Retrobat and we're just going to press on finish. And we can also delete that setup.exe. We don't need that one anymore. So next thing what we're going to do is open up Retrobat. Okay, so we're inside of Retrobat, so I'm going to use my D-pad on my Google Stadia controller just to go over to Retrobat just here, and I'm going to press A to enter inside of here. What we're going to do then is just use D-pad to scroll down, and we are going to find Supermodel. And here is Supermodel, so I'm going to press my A button on that. And next up, the emulator Supermodel is not installed. Install now. Let's just press yes on that, so I'm left-clicking. Cool, so instantly we got Sega Model 3 UI. Trouble is, this is inside of Retrobat, and of course we want this as a standalone. So I'm going to just use my cursor to close out of this. And if I press Start on my controller, or if you're using a keyboard for this, press Enter. Just go down to Quit. Okay, so next thing we're going to need to do is quickly create a folder. So right click anywhere, and New Folder, and I'm going to call this Folder Supermodel. What I'm going to do next is just right click on my Retrobat shortcut, open file location, and from here I'm going to go to emulators folder. Inside of emulators folder, we're going to just scroll down 
until we find a supermodel. And here it is. And here we go. This is what we just downloaded using Retrobat. So what I'm going to do is Control and A to highlight everything. I'm then going to just drag and drop everything into that supermodel folder that I've created. Cool. So if you're planning on using Retrobat as well, obviously don't copy everything. Just copy and paste it into that new supermodel folder. So next thing we do need to do then is just open up supermodel. And we've got a ROMs folder just here. And what I'm going to do is just drag in my Sega Model 3 games. And if we come back out, what I'm going to do next is actually go and open up that UI, which no one can seem to get hold of anymore. So open up Sega Model 3 UI. And here we go, we're now in. But the problem is, is that the directory for our games is in the wrong place. So we're going to need to go to folder and we need to point it to this ROMs folder, which is inside of that supermodel folder we created. So desktop. And we're just going to scroll down to Supermodel and then just left click on ROMs and then OK. And as you can see, the directory has now changed. We can actually do more to this now. So what I'm going to do is just drag down 800 by 600 and change the resolution. I'm going to choose 1280 by 720. Now, screen to screen is going to be different. So obviously, in my case, this one seems to work OK for me. I'm also going to make sure full screen is enabled. So just left click on that one. And you've got other options here at the bottom, such as widescreen and stretch, but you can experiment with those. Next thing I'm gonna do is just left click on this little button here, and I'm gonna save custom resolution. So if I then go to open one of my games, I'm gonna go for a scud race. Okay, so as many of you are probably aware, we do need to enter the test menu for a lot of Sega Model 3 games. So I'm pressing start on my Google Stadia controller. And if I press five, I can actually select which option in the test menu to go into. So the game itself, Scud Race is asking for game assignments. So I'm gonna press five on my keyboard, game assignments, and I'm gonna press six to enter into game assignments. So it's talking about link ID, so I'm going to use 5 on my keyboard to go to link ID. And if I press 6, I'm then going to press it a couple of times until I get to single. And I'm going to press 5 to come out of there and down to exit. And if I then press 6 to exit, and 5 again to go down to exit and press 6. And there we go, we are now in Scud Race. So just be very mindful that left analog controller is going to be very sensitive. And if I press Escape, that's just going to leave the game and that's going to bring us back to Sega Model 3 UI. So let's look at controls. If I press on the control tab just here, Input system, if you find your controller isn't working, just drop this down and try either D input or raw input. X input works great for me. What I'm gonna do next then is just go down to config. This is gonna open up a command prompt and from here we can actually properly configure our controllers to work with this. So if we can see in the background just here, we've got command prompt, common controls, player one. So I'm going to press enter on my keyboard and it brings up setting. Now I'm going to press a button on my controller to map out the start button for player one. And if you just want to bypass player two, if you don't have a player two to play your games with, then just press some random button like I'm doing just here. And we obviously want a player one coin button. And player one joystick up. So I'm going to use my up on my left analog stick. So press enter, press up. And same for down, left, right. Now we got specific settings here for fighting games in particular. Now I'm not planning on using fighting games. So I'm going to just keep bypassing these by pressing my enter key. And of course we've got mappings here to set up for spike out. 
and we've also got virtual striker buttons. So in my case, racing game steering controls is the most obvious one I need to configure. Okay, so we can now close that down and if I open up my game again, Scud Race. Cool, so as we can see, everything's working just fine. Now just remember, we've also got sounds just here. So if you get any sound issues, then you've got configurations just here to mess around with. Like I say, we've got a widescreen just here, and we can also stretch. So do this at your own discretion, really. So that's it for today's Supermodel Emulator for Sega Model 3 Gaming. So for those of you who's been struggling for a long time to find the actual UI and actually get it up and running here in 2024, as easy as that it really is that easy so anyways if you like today's video hit notifications to subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content also join me on social media i'm on facebook instagram twitter and tiktok but until next time stay retro